young girl, 16, absolutely beautiful, walks up to me one day after I lost my father and gives me a letter. A letter, it's not even two pages, it's one page letter that brought me from the pits of freaking hell and depression, pulled me out of there just by the power of the fucking pen. She's a complete stranger, handed me a letter and brought me back from such a terrible, gloomy, hell fucking ridden place that I was in, just with a fucking letter. The first time that I met Lee was long after the first time I saw Lee. Um, he living across the road from, from mum and dad's house um, in Eltham, yeah, was such an icon and would always have his artworks out. And, um, and mum and I, sometimes when we'd go for our morning walks at six in the morning before I'd go to school, we'd sort of creep past Lee's place and have a bit of a pause and sort of look at, look at his stuff. And, and if we'd ever see him out doing any work, We'd usually like maybe call each other and say, and we used to always say Conky, we used to just call him Conky. And he'd say, Conky's out. And I liked his house and just the way it all seemed very free. And um, yeah, like I just liked the energy of the place and, and the way that Lee came across, even though I'd never met him. Um, he just seemed like a very interesting sort of character. And for a long time, I uh, yeah admired him and then uh, something happened with the council. He had started to put his, his artwork on the, the land next to his house. And it was a, yeah, it was, was really nice to see it, that dead space buzzing with activity. And so he got told to take all of the, the artworks off the land. And then you could really tell in the aftermath that you could tell he was depressed. Like it seemed like once he had had that slap on the wrist and and um, you know it wasn't wasn't such a an exciting space anymore. You could you could tell he went into a slump, and he didn't seem to be producing as much work as he he normally did. And so I decided to write him a letter, and I was really shy and nervous, but I thought it was really important. So I wrote him a letter. I remember writing it on the computer and getting Mum to have a look at it and edit it, and um, the. It was basically along the lines of, of encouragement. And so I rolled it up and I put put it in an envelope and then I um, decided that I would go over there. I'd, I'd been past his house earlier that day and it didn't look like anyone was home. So I thought it was a good time to go over there and just pop it in the letterbox and run. <laughs> and so I walked across the road, walked down there and I was feeling nervous. But um, when I got there, he was actually in the garden and there was another guy there as well. And I just went to water and I was like, oh no, like I nearly just went back home and didn't give it. It was so beautiful. She was just like, she had her head down. And she was beautiful. It's like, I always know the beautiful woman. And I, I just sort of abruptly went up to him and said, excuse me, you're Lee Conkey, aren't you? And he was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's me. She goes, oh, I've got something for you. And she handed me this letter. I said, this is for you. And I just gave him the letter. And um, and he looked a bit sort of like bewildered. But um, he's like, oh, okay. And then he said something like, oh, can I read it now? I said, no. Oh, I'll read it now. She goes, no, 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 not now. Anyway, she walks off and I just start reading and I've looked up and then she's disappeared. And then I just I pretty much ran and I didn't, I didn't go back the way I came. I like went around BP and around a back way because I was so embarrassed. I'm like, what the? I've got evidence that she actually was here. It's a beautiful fucking letter giving me life. She actually gave me life with a freaking pen. That's when I truly understood the power of the fucking pen to the sword. And I, I fucking love her.